Good morning. It is time for Cup of Hope. I'm Stephanie Winslow, and I'm so grateful to be with you this morning back here on another Monday. Uh, Mondays sometimes are difficult, right, as we get out of bed and get going for the week um, after hopefully having a restful weekend. Um, it's, I know that's not always the case, so we try to cram all this stuff in we, we feel like we need to get caught up on, but I just hope and pray that you had some time to, to spend time in Sabbath, spend time resting, spend time rejuvenating, uh, and just meditating on, on the goodness of God and what he's done for you, and letting him restore your body and store your, restore your mind and your heart. Um, so here we are back on Monday and just ready to start the, a new week. Um, full of, of light and gratitude and heart for what God is going to do this week. I am really excited uh, to come to you today to share with you a message for this week. This whole week we're going to be spending um, talking about this fivefold blessing. And um, so last week I was in St. Louis and got to spend some time um, with my mom and dad uh, and I was sitting in my mom's office using her space doing some work one day and happened to notice up on her bulletin board she had this message typed out called the fivefold blessing and I asked her where that came from so lo and behold it came from my uncle Mark <laughs> so I'm totally totally um bogarting this from my uncle Mark and I told him that I would give him uh, the credit for it all, but um, I'm going to walk you this week through a fivefold blessing, and it's what he prays over babies during baby dedication. Uh, there's five of them, so one for each finger. <laughs> I told him it's like grabbing a hold of the baby's cranium and uh, holding on to it um, as he's praying for them, but um, also um, praise. This is the blessings that he prays often at the end of service or as he's praying for his own family. Uh, and over our family, um, it's so I, I think I, I know that at the end of this week, for sure, and even day by day, as we walk through the, the five different blessings that you will indeed be blessed because it's almost like um, when when somebody has has given you a, a gift and, and you kind of forget about it, you, it gets maybe tucked away and or like a gift card. This happens a lot, I think, to gift cards where you know, somebody gives us a gift card and we tuck it away somewhere in the uh, back part of our wallet or in a drawer and we totally forget about it. And then it's like, you know, you're out and about and you pull, happen to open up your wallet or open up that drawer and you see that gift card and it's like, wow, you know, you feel super blessed you, that you, and you've totally forgotten about the blessing. I think this is often how we treat God and his word is that there is so much blessing that he has promised us that we forget about, we don't pay attention to, we ignore, we <laughs> just don't spend time praying these blessings over our lives, but we are missing out when we don't pray them over our lives and over the lives of, of those around us. And so today I want us to lift up our cups and ask the Lord to fill us up with the hope that he has in store for us today as we pray his blessings over us. Um, Thank you for hopping on. I see a lot of people jumping on now. So um, thank you for participating. And today, as I said, we're going to walk through the fivefold blessings. Today, we're going to just focus on one. And the blessing that we're going to talk about today is wellness. Wellness. Um, one of the many names of God in the Bible is Jehovah Rapha, which means healer. Jehovah healer, our God, our healer, that he heals us completely. We've been talking a lot about healing in the last few weeks, um, but this, and even last week talking about how Jesus, part of the reason why he came and, and died on the cross was so that our bodies could be healed and completely restored. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is the healer. And um, we are first introduced to this word Jehovah Rapha, or God speaking about himself that way, just after the Israelites had been uh, released or escaped from Egypt. They had crossed the Red Sea. God was meeting with them. So you can kind of imagine what this would have been like. I can imagine if I were one of the Israelites that I would have some 
fears and questions about who is this God who clearly has the ability to bring massive destruction and um, as he did on, on the Egyptians. And so you're on the one hand, you have, you see God in that way, this God who, who destroyed but, and brought about all of these plagues and sicknesses. And then you also have the God who brought them out, who led them out and protected them from the Egyptians as they were crossing the Red Sea. He parted the waters. So they definitely saw the miraculous side of God as well from a way that would, um, that brought protection and provision to them and brought safety to them, brought them out of that land and out of that hard life that they were living as slaves in Egypt. So they were experiencing God on both sides. And so for God, when he met with them to tell them that he was their Jehovah Rapha would have been so important because they saw the plagues that he brought on not only physical to their physical bodies, but the, the plagues he brought to their, their animals and to the land. And so when he says that I'm the healer, um, Jehovah Rapha is that he was healing in mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul, it's a complete wellness. It's not just a physical wellness, but a, a wellness that encompassed mind, body, and soul. So spiritual our, our, our soul health is what God is looking for. He wants to be our, our Jehovah Rapha for our soul. Heal our soul, anything that's separating us from him or that's causing disunity from our relationship with him. As he brought the Egyptians out of Egypt and he was bringing them into a new opportunity for relationship with him as he was establishing them as his people um, in the promised land and so that was a, a process of healing for them, healing of their minds of what they lived through and how they had to live mentally, that, that he had to bring healing to them there and then physical body, their physical bodies as well. He also, um, and this is the verse I'm gonna to read to you today, is Ephesians, Exodus 15, 20. So he was making them um, this promise that he would not bring harm to their physical bodies as well as he, they had seen in uh, that he did over over the Egyptians. So let me read this Exodus fifteen twenty six. It says, "If you will give earnest heed, if you will give earnest heed to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in His sight, and you give ears to His commands, and keep all the statutes." I will put none of the diseases on you that I have put on the Egyptians, for I, the Lord, am the healer. So this is where the first time that we in scripture encounter God speaking of himself in that way where he says, I am your healer. He tells the people who he is by giving himself this name, Jehovah Rapha, I am your healer. So he promised them that he would bring none of the diseases or the plagues on them that he brought on the Egyptians. And all that he was looking for is that they would pursue him, uh, heed his voice, listen to what he was telling them, follow after his commands. Um, and the commands at the beginning were simple, right? They were just simple in what he was asking them to do. Um, and yet, they struggled a lot with that. <laughs> but the, the, the point of today's message is that he is our healer and he promised that. And, and um, I also wanted to read this verse to you as well. Psalm 103 verse three, which says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits, who pardons all of our iniquities and who heals all of our diseases. He heals all of our iniquities and heals all of our diseases. We are connected. Our body, our mind, our soul is all connected. And God wants nothing more than to be our Jehovah Rapha for all of it. He wants to bring complete wellness to our bodies, our minds, our souls, 
Um, and, and when they are all working together, when they're all well, we can perform, or not perform, I don't like that word, um, we can step into the calling that he has for us. We can live out the calling that he has for us. We can participate in the calling that he has for us. So I am claiming these this blessing over you today. I'm claiming this blessing over me today for you and your families that we would experience Jehovah Rapha, that we would believe that he will do what he said he will do, but also recognize just in these verses uh, that we read um, from Exodus that we have a part to play too, right? We have a part to play too in listening to what he's telling us to do because Sometimes I think the, the commands that he's speaking over our lives or, or the way that he's asking us to live that separates us from the rest of the world, sometimes we get a little like down and out about that. Like, well, that just looks so much more fun. The way the world is living looks more fun or more enjoyable, more whatever. Um, but the way that God is asking us to live our lives in a separation from the world that we live in the world but not of the world, that way of living is for our good and for our protection. So he wants us to live well, mind, body, and soul. And one of the ways that we do that is by listening to him, by following after his commands, and he will pour out his blessings on us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I thank you that you are Jehovah Rapha, that you are the great healer, that we can come to you when our bodies are broken down, when our minds are broken down, when our souls are broken down, and you bring in new life. You heal us completely. Father, I thank you that your word shows us as you spoke to the Egyptians that when we follow after you, when we listen to you, when we obey your commands, that you rise up and you become this Jehovah Rapha to us. So Father, where there is brokenness today in body and mind and soul, I pray your complete healing would, would occur. I pray over each one who is watching. I pray over each member of their families and their dear close friends. I pray that we would just um, pursue after you and receive this blessing of, of you, recognizing that we can receive you, our Jehovah Rapha, and that you would restore our bodies, that you would heal us, that you would make us whole and complete. I thank you, Lord, for this blessing and that we would receive it with open hands and open hearts today. And uh, thank you also for my Uncle Mark and just his willingness to share this with me um, in the ministry that he's doing as well at Calvary Life. I pray over that, that you would bless them um, abundantly. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you for being with me this morning and I pray that you have a blessed, wonderful day. Um, and that you do just receive what God has for you today, this blessing of letting him be your healer from mind, body, and soul. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.